What's up guys, welcome back to Code with Clinton. So in this video, I'll be covering view sets and routers, you understand? So currently we're on episode 5 of the series. So if you've not been following along, so go back to my channel and check. I have 4 previous episodes on this series. So go and check. So check, watch out those ones and come back to this video, you understand? So currently now, we're on episode 5 as I said, and I'll be covering view set and routers. So if, before I proceed, I'd love to show you something. We have two class-based view functions over here the first function helps to list out the products or you can also create new products you get while the second function helps to retrieve a single product update a product or delete a particular product you get and if you watch if, if you check closely again you find out that the query sets of both functions are the same and the serializer class of both functions are also the same so whenever you have a, whenever you have two similar functions like this you are required to use view sets it's not a must but view set makes things easier it, it it makes you write lesser lines of code you get so whenever you have two similar functions like this you are required to use view sets i'll show you how to do this so if you need the source code for this project if you need the source code for everything just go down to my github go, go down to my github repo just look look out for drf underscore tutorial you will see there and i have different branches for each episode you get so you just click on this main this main button here click on your drop down you see currently i have four i have four i have four different branches or sorry i have five different branches for this series in the stand so come down here and check them out you get so right now let's import the model view set you get so we're gonna simply say from rest framework from rest framework dot view sets and we import the model view sets so the model view sets performs the crude operation you get so with the model view set you can create sorry with the model view set you can list you can create you can retrieve you can update and delete you get so we can perform the whole crude operation with the model view sets you get so after you've done this as i said earlier if you watch closely we have this function they are similar they have the same query set the same serializer class whenever you have two similar functions you are required to use a view set you understand so right now we're using the model view set for this particular one you get so as i said before they must be the same you get so the query set and serializer class must be the same before you can use the view set if they're not the same you don't need to use the view set you get so what i'm going to do now is simply we will simply, we'll simply say api products so right now i'll simply remove i'll simply comment this out the second function and we are going to inherit from model view sets so we'll paste that here so this is all we need to do you get so this model view set now is covering both the function above and the one beneath you get so it's covering it so that's all that, that's all you need to do so right now i'm gonna go down to my urls.py file and clear out this particular view in the url so or i can simply comment out everything or okay for now let's comment out everything Okay, that done already so you need to have everything fine so now we have our view set configured so we have the view set configured for our product view you get so if i scroll down again you watch closely we also have the api for the categories you get so i need to bring this up for the bit so let's just bring it up there so as I said earlier, if, before you can use the view set, you must make sure that the query set and serializer class are both the same for the two functions you get. So the first function helps to list out the old categories and you can also create new categories you get. While the second function helps to retrieve a single helps to retrieve a single category, helps to update and destroy you get. So if you check closely, the query set and serializer class of these two functions are the same thing. So you can use the view set here, you get. So the, the view set covers these two functions, you get. So 
all, you, all we need to do right now is now all we need to do is simple so just comment out the second function so comment it out and up here i'll change this function to category and up and we'll be inheriting from model view sets so that's all you need to do for the view set so we've done this for the view set now when using view sets we don't use this normal urls you saw here there's a special configuration for view sets that's what we call the router shall show you i'll show you how to use the router to map to your view set function to get so we're we'll doing that next so right now let's create out the routers for the view set to get so we're going to import routers so we'll say from from rest framework rest underscore framework dot routers we import default router so after you might have imported default routers so we are going to create a variable now you can give it whatever name you like you can you can give it whatever name you want you get so i'm gonna i'm gonna call my router router is equal to default router so after you've done that now you simply say router dot register it's done router dot register so put in the parentheses after you've done that now i'll put in this as a prefix product you get so it's gonna be the prefix so put that there so it should be product so after you've done that now we are going to put in the function the view set instead the first one is called api product so i'll change the name let's call it products i'm going to i'm going to call my product view set i think the name sounds better so i'll call it product view set so i'll do the same thing over here i'll call this category view set I think I'm right. Okay, category view set. So come down here. We're gonna simply say views dot products view sets. You get so that's it there. We'll, we'll do this. We are gonna do the same thing for the category. So say router dot register. So then we are gonna simply say categories. So copy this here. That's a prefix. So we paste it there and then say views dot category view set so i think that's it now so after we've done this so this this is our url mapping in stamp but we are not done so now we need to register the url mapping to get so how do we do that i'm going to show you how it's being done you get so we just come down here and simply say url pattern so say you are, so i need to remove this to avoid errors so then i need to so just watch as i watch me so i need to comment that out so simply say url patterns should be equal to i think it should be equal to router dot url i think we are fine now so let's see the, the server is running so okay it's done running so go down to the browser so refresh the page so everything should be fine here so you can see everything is working so let's pick a single product so copy so paste here enter you can see everything is fine you get so everything is perfect so just you can see we are using the view set with less code you get so with less code you get we're able to retrieve we can create we can update we can delete we just we, we just these three lines of code you get so that's it for the products that, that's it for the products view set so you can do the same thing for the categories it's still gonna work so let's try the categories so go down to your browser again so remove this and put in categories let's see so everything is fine you get so you might be, you might be wondering you don't know you want to see the the api endpoint itself if you want to see the api endpoints i'll show you how to get it so go down to your browser so just go down to the root 
API so which is API enter you can see very closely we have the API endpoints over here you understand you can see it here so if you want to see the API endpoints simply go down to the last so you need to remove both products and categories go down to API you're gonna find out the API endpoint you can see it's over here so click on it you can see it's brought us back here so let's assume we don't want to use this format there are two ways of registering the URL patterns you get so let's assume you have some other patterns like this you get and you're using view sets for some other functions so I'm going to show you how to configure that so we'll simply remove the comments from this ones after we've done that now I'll sh so now I'll comment out this or out so just, just just follow this and then you put in parts so you say part after you set part now so put in the empty string and then you say include so after you've done that after you've included we'll say include router dot urls so you need to import include so simply say from so I'm going to import includes from URLs. I think that's it. Sorry. So let's say include. I hope I'm correct. So let's see if I'm correct or not. So Safa is running. Oh, I said no module named router. What did I call it? So I said router. Dot. There's an error. The error says no module named router. If you check closely. Oh, the mistake is from me. It should not be in a string. Sorry for that. So. We'll copy that out remove the string remove the string icons and paste now so run server so the server is up and running so let's check out the browser again and see if everything is working so refresh the page everything is fine so let's try out a single product so copy the id and paste it in the browser oh there's a problem so now let's copy the ID of each product and paste in the browser. So let's see if everything is fine. So I'm going to paste that. Okay, everything is working very fine. So it's going to work for the categories. Try it out yourself. Everything is going to be everything is going to work for the categories also. So to try out categories. Just put in categories and then let's see. So I'll put in an ID for the category so paste so this is you can see we are able to retrieve you can update you can create you can list you can perform all the old functions with just few lines of code thanks to the model view set you can do all this so we are done with this video so in the next video i'll show you how to use the nested router so do it so watch out for that so do it to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. So drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you. So see you in the next video.